Welcome boys and girls to Shen Plays. I'm your host Shenra. We're playing Europa Universalist 3 Divine Wind Death and Taxes 7.7. .7. As Shia, the empire that wants to form China, really. They're trying to form some type of national identity because, you know, the Cantonese and the Chihan and the Viet and the Thai and the Burmese and the Tibetan and the peoples all up here and the Japanese and the Korean on the Manchu and the Mongols all these people they they sort of get along they really do they can sort of understand each other's cultures and customs and certainly they are very wise to understand Shenism you can see how successful we are in that respect but at the same time, they, they still feel like they're under the yoke of Shia rule, which is true, you know? They look at other other countries, uh, their neighbors, the Oirat Horde, Russia, the Japanese factions, Pegu and all this stuff. They're small, well, except Russia, but mainly they're small, and they have, like, a centralized government, and they all, all the people are pretty much the same. So you'd expect them to get along very well. And the people in Shia are striving for the same. They want the same thing. And that's going to take some time. But I believe that time is almost here. We have four years until that time. We're going to have to get a statesman of skill five to make it happen. But I'm willing to buy a statesman of skill five to make that happen. That sounds like a dream come true. In the meantime, though, in the meantime, though, we need to get ready for war because uh, we're almost down to zero infamy, and it's time Japan takes another blow to the jaw. Probably gonna take a couple provinces from Yamada this time. Poor guys, I don't think they know what's coming. I'm sure they're terrified, I'm sure they're shaking in their booties, but I don't think they ever actually see this coming. They're probably just startled and shocked every single time. You guys come up here. You guys come down here. The one thing that sucks about westernizing is you can't do multiple westernizations at the same time. <laughs> because you have to get your stability back up. So if we start at stability 3 and we westernize something, then we'll drop to stability 1. No, we won't. We'll drop to stability 0. So we'll have to get it up to plus 2 if we want to westernize something else. And that, you know, it takes time, it takes a few months. And hopefully we'll be able to do a couple of them at once rather than just one at a time. But we'll see. I would really like to take a step towards westernizing our navy. Because our navy is crap. I don't think if you've realized it, but our navy is crap. Uh, no, I don't want you there. I want you here, I think. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. Trying to think what's the best way to attack Yamana. I guess if we slaughter their armies, that'd be a good way to attack them, but it's going to be really hard to kill those armies. Support limit here, 43. Alright, go over here. Support limit here, 45. Perfect. Get back on the damn boat. You thought you were done. Funny man, you're not done. Actually, let's go to Tosa. I think we're building something there. Yeah. Let's get back out in the water. Put you on there. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Holy shit. 
architectural development. Our nation is currently undergoing a substantial development in architecture. Numerous monumental buildings, architectural wonders, and other constructs such as aque aqueducts and schools are being erected. Support architectural development. Innovative gain too. Wow. Or count on quantity. Lose prestige, narrow minded gain one. Wow. National revolt risk goes up for a whole year. But I, I'm not going to go narrow-minded. We're already all the way innovative. No, we're not. We're almost there. I'm not going to go narrow-minded, so yeah, innovative. Thank you, I guess. Yeah, there goes all our missionaries. What missionaries? Exactly. Alright, go up here. So we're going to have 80,000 guys in these tiles. That should be enough to deal with that army, you think? 80,000 versus 30,000. Probably enough to deal with them. Probably. No guarantees. I really don't have any more leaders. There. We don't have one there either? Goodness. Yeah, we don't need one there, really. Who the fuck's gonna attack us there? Exactly. Nobody. Actually, let's build level 2 fort. Just for shits and giggles. Haha, -ha, I'm giggling. Uh, yeah, there you go. And where's our other general? Oh, go back to Comdo. That's where you're supposed to be. And we're actually going to take your leader away and put you somewhere useful, like right here. Go kick these guys' ass. All right, let's slow down time. Right down to four speed. Actually, let's slow it down to three speed. And let's get this war started. It's going to shoot our infamy up, but that's okay. Actually, maybe we should just let it go down to zero before we declare war. I guess it can't hurt. Let's uh, dock you guys up temporarily. Just uh, right here. And you guys dock up right there. My transport navy can go... Shit, I don't care. Just go over here. Whatever. Just don't die. Stupid transports. Ah, level fort in Penchisky. Very good. Hurry up and discover Kamchatka. Thank you. So a few months, we can declare war. Because that's going to shoot up our infamy to, to two en anyway. Because we never have a freaking Kaza's belly. Courthouse, sure, whatever. Cultural assimilation. Culture in Tanu Tuvo will become Cantonese. Very nice. Oirat Horde has insulted us. Whatever, our relations are shit anyway. We do have a missionary, though. Missionary. We're already doing there. Let's do here. 9.9% .9 per year. Okay. And another building. Courthouse is fine. Try to avoid building in Japan right now just because we have a war coming. All those buildings we do on the uh, on the top line of buildings here, all the government buildings, reduce stability cost. So it'll make it easier for us to westernize. Just a little bit. Nah, eh, sure, just negotiate with the Jerkins. I don't care. Courthouse in Tosa is done. So the only thing we have building is Satsuma, and we're not going to finish it before the war starts. So, oh well. Actually, what we could do is... Uh, is that my navy, or is that... That must be their navy. 
what we could do is put our transports out here and just drop some troops on their face when they go to Satsuma. That might be fun. Nah. Nobles concerned. Our nobility are concerned about their policy about allowing free subjects to interfere with their ability to flog their servants. <laughs> Let them complain or surf them game one. Well, it looks like we're about to lose stability. God damn it. Right when we're about to get government tech as well. May, July. Whatever. Alright, stability. Oh, and declare war, by the way. Hey, Japan. Sup, up, bro? What's up? We're not going to bring in our allies because uh, there's no point. Sup, bro? I heard you like war in your face. No? Was I wrong? I'm sorry. Guess what you have? It's called war in the face. You little bastards. We better win this battle. Like, we better win it hugely. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Oh, oh, that army in Awa was obliterated. Just destroyed. I did not expect that. And they went to Bungo instead of Satsuma. Interesting, interesting. All right. Um, let's just go slaughtering, I guess. Actually, no. Let's go to Kyoto. Sounds like fun. We'll send him to Kyoto, and the rest of you guys can conquer Nagano and Chikuzen. One of our admirals died. Whatever. Oh, come on. Kill them. Kill them. Benign neglect. Uh, get some money. Good, good. We're in the capital. That's nice. Come on. Kill them. We've lost 7,000. They lost 5,000. Kill them all. They're running to Azumo. Make them die. Uh, you're too fast. You're even faster. Should be fine, I think. We're going to get there first. We're all going to get there on the same day, so we should be fine. We'll actually... We'll send this army somewhere else. You can go... You can stay right there. That's their capital. Yeah, that'll piss them off. And they're dead. All right. Okay, you guys can split up. Uh, I'll take... Um, I'll take these two dipshits and come this way. And you can go all the way to Chikuzen. All right. That's all I really have to do. Take Kyoto. Okay. Rebels. Stop spawning rebels. I'll do anything you want. Just stop spawning the rebels. You guys are so mean. Uh, Wow, there's no one even close to that territory. The place is just out in the boonies. Where else do we have rebels? No, that's not rebels. That's not rebels. That's not rebels. That's rebels. That's rebels. All right. And now we siege. New exploits. All right, we can finally colonize again. Good, good. What was that last thing? We discovered that smugglers dominating expired in Shia. Good. Smugglers are no longer dominating. Build a temple. Wait, no, that's the province that's being sieged. Uh... Yeah. Revolt risk goes through the roof because we get free war exhaustion. Yay! We started a war with no uh, causes belly, so we get a free 2.2 war exhaustion, or 2.0, whatever it starts at. That's what I like. I like having free war exhaustion. It's nice. It's good. It's a good thing. Uh, let's pick up this army just for the, the hell of it. Let's get you a general. Because why not? Get on the boat. I'll kill these rebels over here. Maybe kill some of the Japanese troops. 
Yeah, 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 I understand. There's a ton of Japanese factions, and they each have five spies, and they're all using all five spies on me. I get it. I know how it works. They've done it a million fucking times. Oh, look, they're doing it again. I'm not surprised, okay? It's not news. I don't have to make a big deal. I understand. Yo comprende. Oi. All right, let me undock my, my navies here. My actual attack navies. We don't have any admirals anymore, do we? Uh, okay, we'll get one. Just in case Yamada feels like duking it out. They probably don't, but just in case. Hey, 13% in Nagato. Nice. Very nice. Alright, and we're about to dock on these guys' face. There we go. On your face. And they're dead. Okay, let's get you back on the boat. Let's go kill some suckers. Level 2 Fort Majratine is done. Very nice. Oh god, our forces in Kyoto were under attack. But they're fine now. Because it was 1,000 guys. And they had no morale. Because they were just trained. Rebels. Don't really have that many rebels, but they're just inconvenient locations. We'll put you back in Heiichi in case we get some rebels over there. Probably will. Oh, look, they've engaged my transport fleet. Guess what? I have a real navy over here. And we have a, an air. How's our air look? 468. Well, if it weren't for that 4, I'd be ecstatic. But that 4 is going to kill him. going to kill me. Not happy about that 4. Come on, where's my navy? There we go. And they're dead. We lost one transport ship, which actually sucks because we lost one troop. What'd we lose? We lost two troops. Really? Damn it. Well, that sucks. We're gonna have to build two more soldiers now. Hmm. Whatever. All right, we're making some percentages on these sieges. Unfortunately, so are they. 75% here? Goddamn. Maybe we should... No. Where's my other transport fleet? There they are. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We're going to have to replace that ship, too. Uh... I guess these are the new transports. We should just replace them all, because cogs are just crap compared to these guys. Whatevs. Uh, yeah, let's bring you over. Might as well. Can't hurt to bring over another army. We destroyed their navy down here anyway, so... I would like to save these places if we could. This place, we're, we're still not even going to get there. There's no way we're going to get there in time. No way. It's only, what, 2,000 guys? Yeah, we can't get there. It's just so far away. We're going to have to uh, station an army up here just to keep this region under control. Because we have this area controlled by that dude. We have this area controlled by that dude. 
So this area needs some control. Maybe right here. Support limit 23. Perfect. We'll put one right there. We just have to bring an army up there. We can build an army up there? <gasps> yes, we can. We have cores all up and down here. Ooh, do we have the ability to build another army? Yes, we do. All right, we'll do that. I think I can do that. Six. We'll just build them all in the same territory. It'll take some time. I don't care. There you go. Sixty-three percent. Very nice. Yeah, the rebels were successful. We're still not even close. It's gonna take us what months? January first. It's October. It's gonna be January when we get there. These provinces are so far apart. Wow. Russia won that war. So they took Peskov down here and Vyborg right there. All right. Okay. I got no infamy for it. So those must have been cores, Russian cores, reconquest war. Okay, build another building. Do, 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 do. Come here, yes. Courthouse and Sessima finished. That's impressive. Oh, 88% all of a sudden. And the wall's busted. Nice. Keep up the good work, guys. No progress in Kyoto at all. Zero percent progress. That's not so impressive. Oh, Yamato fell. Damn it. Damn it. I have to see if we can't save it. Well, get it back quickly anyway, before it gets a huge garrison. That'd be nice. on the boat. Let's go. Let's party. Going to Yamato. You know what? Let's land on these guys' face right here. Actually, let's go land on this guy's face right here. That looks fun. I'm sure they won't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Hundred percent in Chikuzen. Very nice. Very nice. That'll allow us to go chase this douchebag around. Alright, we arrived in Setsu. We converted Nerchensky. Very nice. How's this battle going? Oh, we don't have a commander. Oops. Should have given them a commander. They have no morale, though. Probably just slaughter them. Yep, looks like we killed them. Oh, that was in Ilimsk or whatever. Okay, you need to take that fort. Okay. Kill them. They're already half dead. Just kill them the rest of the way. Alright, it fell. Go back home. Just relax. You've done your civic duty. Takeda wants peace. That is... No? That's these guys. Shinano. Uh, let's not. Just because I don't like you. And you can go die. Nothing personal. Alright, we slaughtered the army. Good. And we're probably going to get here before it gets to a thousand people, I hope. Just take the fort back. That'd be nice. Siege it. Let's get it done. 
Yeah, we'll get it. These new soldiers are pretty good at attacking. Let's get another general. There you go. Go attack. Show what you're made. Actually, wait till the end of the month. Six, seven, eight. Now go attack. Nope. There you go. Now go attack. Yep, 2nd of February. Perfect. Clean these guys up. Hey, the walls have reached in Kyoto. Nice. No, that was their that was them breaching our walls in Omi. Damn. Alright, let's go to Omi. Save it. Yeah, these soldiers that we have now are dangerous. Uh is that that new one up there? It is. Alright, we'll send another one there. I'm really hoping we'll discover the other ones nearby though. Courthouse done, that's nice. They're just standing there letting us attack them. Negative five penalty? Ouch. But they have no commander. Should be fine. Ouch. 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 Yeah, we slaughtered them. <laughs> this new army is awesome. Alright, we got Chikuzen. Very nice. Uh, go kill them. You don't have a commander, but you probably don't need one, to be honest. <laughs> we took so many losses. We were taking losses by the thousands, but their morale dropped to zero so fast. We have six morale. These units have six morale. Uh, can I even look at them? There we go. They have six attack morale. That's so good. It's a huge difference from what we had before. Go sit in there. Okay. Oh, we have a general up here that we're not using. Damn, I wish I had noticed that. You're still building that boat? Yeah, you're not even close. Alright, let's go walk up there, I guess. What's the support limit here? That's fine. Go walk up there and come back. How's this battle going? Pretty good. Still have a negative five attack penalty though. I'm confident we'll win. There we go. He's running over here. Can we get there first? Yes, we can. He's gonna die. No, he's gonna get the end of the month bonus, but he's he might still die. We'll see. Government Tech 30 gives us nothing. Awesome. I love it when I get nothing. Alright, they attacked. They have no morale. They're dead. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we've taken Chikuzen. We still haven't taken Kyoto. We're not even at... Wow, 13% on Kyoto. Wow. Oh, goodness. You, however, have a general. Alright, who's this? Yamana wants peace. No. If you want to give me a couple provinces, I'll take it, but I'm not just going to take a white piece with you, my friend. 
Alright, let's, uh, we could go up there and take that, but it's really not necessary. I don't think them taking a province or two is going to affect our war score at all. Let's, uh, bring you back to Setsu, and we'll get on the boat. Hopefully you'll heal up by the time you get there, but maybe not, we'll see. I just want to run him over to Aki and retake it before uh, Papal State declared war on Castile. Really? That is not the best choice you've ever made in your life. Although you are you are allied with Burgundy and France, so. Let's see if Burgundy and France join. No, they did not, so we'll join. Oh, we have leadership. That's fine. See, if Burgundy and France joined, that could have been a problem. But since they didn't, it's not a problem. It's only the Pope. He's all alone. All alone. Poor Mr. Pope, man. Bet he didn't expect that. Bet he's like, hey, France and Burgundy are my allies. They'll help. They'll join. They'll come. They'll rescue me. I'm not stupid. I'm doing what's in the best interest of Stomp. Oh, shit, why am I dying? Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, Yamana's attacking us. Oh, my God. Um, Can we win this? What's their navy like? Navy 37. God damn. Can we win that? Maybe. Looks like we're winning. Yeah, we're, we're winning. Awesome. Alright, now let's go to Aki. Get that back. Should be quick. Yep. We beat Yamana's navy. We lost nothing. We even captured one of their ships. Sweet. Take that, Yamana. You little shithole. Oh, Hokey fell. I didn't even notice that Hokey fell. Uh, that's the capital, too. Let's go to Bichu. No, let's go here instead. Bingo. Bingo! That's a great name for a province. Bingo. Alright, we arrived in Aki. Let's re retake it real quick. Okay. Now I'm going to get you back on the boats. We can go save Tosa. Because it's at 88%. Goodness. Oh! Yes, 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 yes. Okay. This place is self... Uh, whatever it's called. Self-governing now. And we finally discovered Kamchatka, which has 5,000 natives. So let's colonize that ship. And hopefully, I'm hoping we can get a rush of colonists event, which will give us like three extra colonists. And we can just spam colonize this place and we'll keep the population, because keeping the population would be nice. But it's not very likely. Hey, what's up, Burgundy? What's up, man? We're going to colonize Kamchatka. You can't have it. No, I'm sorry. You really can't. You, you can't have it. I'm sorry. Hee <laughs> hee. I bet they wanted it, too. I bet France wanted it, too. Get out of Yamato, damn it. Whoa, where'd that army come from? There was no army here five seconds ago. Oh, shit, why are we dying so hard? Well... That's what happens. Goodbye. Okay, uh, let's get you back on the boat. Oh wait, the boat's not in the water. Get in the water. Izumo has fallen. Okay. Now we're making progress. Let's go to Bichu. Okay. 
And we're not taking a whole lot of attrition this time. I like it. Looks like Yamana has 10,000 guys in Harima. So let's see if we can go save that. That'd be nice. Yep, 10,000. All right. All right, now Yamana wants peace. Let's see if they want something other than white peace. There we go. Yamana will see Chikuzen. Yamana will renounce their claims on Tanba. He's in Shikaraki. So that's a little better. It's not as good as I want, so no. But uh, maybe they'll come back in a little bit with a better offer. I would like to get uh, at least two of your provinces. But at least you offered one. That's cool. Because we can't, we can't uh, talk to them directly. But if they contact us, we can negotiate a peace deal. So I'm willing to negotiate. But you're going to have to get better than that. I mean, we can't actually counter-offer anything. We either accept or decline their offer, but it's better than not being able to talk to them at all. Now we're going to land on their face. I'm sure they're going to like that. And then we're going to arrive from Vichu as well. They're going to like that. Just curb stomp these motherfuckers. Oh, hello. Hey, what's up? 40,000 guys on your face. What's up? I heard you like guns. These guns are imported from China. <laughs> no. They're not cheap replicas. They're good-ass guns. Alright. Uh, you're running to Bichu. So we'll take our bigger army and go to Vichu, and the smaller army can uh, go this way, I guess. Whatever. Oh, right. This way, this way. Like that. And just clean up a little bit while we continue to conquer. And uh, we have a fort to build up here. Where is that fort to build? Oh, goodness. It's this place. Perfect. Build a fort. Yay! Go, Kamchatka, go! So this is apparently how you colonize. Are you, are you listening? You grab an axe. You find a tree stump. Not a, not a whole tree, just a tree stump, like this. And then you whack it with the axe. And after a few months of whacking this tree stump with an axe, you colonize a place. That's how it works, okay? So any story you've heard about birds and bees and all that kind of shit, it's all bullcrap. All you need is an axe and a tree stump. You're good to go. Oh, finally, 25% on Kyoto. Cool. It's really not super necessary anymore, but we'll take it. Kyoto is only necessary if we want to talk with Japan directly. If Yamana comes at us with their own offers, I'm okay with that too. Right, it has fallen, so Yamana may now offer us both of these, which I would take. And then get peace. Oh, look, your ships are back out. They probably shouldn't be out here, because we're probably going to kill them. But uh, there they are. And, uh, I think your ships are dying? Oh, you guys ran away. Alright, well, go around, I guess. Whatever. And yeah, your ships are dying. We lost nothing, and they lost... Oh, there was a transport ships. No wonder why they died so fast. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's what we should do. We should start replacing all of our transport ships with Carex, because cogs are just crap. 4107 versus 21228. So they're faster, they have more cannons, and bigger hulls. Yeah, let's replace all of our cogs. The galleon I don't mind, but the cogs need to go. Uh, actually, let's just build new ships. We need 19 of them, so we'll just build them all right here. Now we'll build three and three. One, two, three, four, five. Six, and then one extra one for for luck. There. 
we'll need more we'll need more transport soon because as we as we build up the uh, army bases in our cities we'll be able to su support bigger supply limits which means we should have larger armies so rather than 20,000 we'll bump up to like 25,000 or something France cleared war on Russia that's fine with me Alright, we're going to try to save Musashi over here. Yep, they're not even going to move. They're like, come at me, bro. I'm like, okay. Minus two penalty. Uh, a 3-2 leader versus a 3-1 leader. But I'm pretty sure our tech is a little better. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that looks painful. They're dead. <laughs> squish. Three days later, they are squish. Uh, let's head back down here and save these two. Oh, Kyoto's at 63% now. Nice. Actually, they may just give us the provinces we want right away. Let's see. 66. No, they won't. <laughs> oh, well, it was worth a look anyway. Oh, iron. I like iron. Cool. And we have another dude. So where was the iron? Here it was. Sweet... There's a lot of metals over here. This area, this colonizable area over here just has a ton of metals. Gold and iron and copper and everything. I love it. These metals are really valuable. Okay. They're not as valuable as Chinaware. But come on. Chinaware is ridiculously overvalued. Ridiculously overvalued. It's good. It's useful. But come on. Iron is so much more useful. Peace offer from, from some douchebags. It's these guys, Izu. I, they just want a white piece, probably. I guess. It's not like they're going to do anything against them, and they're not going to do anything against us, so... Sure. Alright, that, that actually brought our war score up, because they no longer have as many people in the war against us. Now will you give us both? Nope. Alright. Fine, we'll stay at war for a little bit. Hundred percent on bingo. The Pope wants peace. I'm sure the Pope wants peace. Castile's probably kicking his ass. The mini map doesn't work. No, Castile is actually doing nothing. But they do have a big army over here, and the Pope has three thousand guys. Castile, thirty thousand guys. Pope, three thousand. Thirty thousand. Three thousand. Thirty thousand. Three thousand. Yeah, Pope wants white peace, I'm guessing. Hey, hey, look at that white peace. Uh, what's our war score? Probably zero. No, actually at 13%. Can we get some money out of him? He won't give us any money. How much do you have, dude? 500. Is that it? Really? I can make him sp I don't really I don't really want him to spit anything out because I think it's cool that the Pope is being aggressive. Uh, so we're not going to make him spit anything out, but maybe we'll make him get rid of his cores on northern Italy. Now, the reason I'm thinking about that is because the Pope can't actually form Italy. The Pope is Urbino as his culture, Umbrian. So he can't actually form Italy. You need to be uh, Lombard culture uh, to form Italy, and so the Pope can't do it. That being the case, there's no reason for him to really have these provinces. They don't really gain him anything, you know. He he had them for a long time, and he conquered these guys, but he never actually annexed them. He conquered them, like, in four separate wars, and he just, just let them continue to exist, which is stupid. If he wanted to own Italy, he would have annexed them a long time ago, rather than dicking around so much. But no, we're not going to accept this white piece. We're going to at least make him remove his cores on Castile's territory up there, because Castile's our ally. They're our buddies, our buds. Our Baroskis. So we should be getting closer to uh, peace with Japan, considering we're at 63% on their capital, and we've pieced out one of their minor provinces. 
every time one of these little 1,000 man armies spawns and we kill it, we get another 1%, 75%. They should accept peace now, I think. Maybe. Well, they'll take those. Will they take these? Yes. All right, so they'll give us that. And that's about all we can handle anyway. We're at 100 prestige. You know what? Let's uh, spend our prestige first. Let's bring these guys into our uh, sphere. There we go. 36 prestige. And then we can get peace. All right. That'll give us 10 more prestige, and that's all we really want. Vassalization, 720%. Yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? Yeah, we could just go way over the infamy limit. That'd be fun. All right, can you get some gold? Nope, you won't give us any gold. How much gold do you have? Like, none. You'll give us one gold. <laughs> one gold. All right, we'll take one gold. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right, so what I'm hoping is... Uh, I'm hoping these guys will have little wars amongst each other, which they probably won't. But what they will do is annex each other diplomatically. They'll do... Um, what are they called? Personal unions. And then they'll annex each other and shit like that. Uh, the other option is, as people have suggested, to uh, control all of the minor states' capitals. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have to control seven provinces and control Kyoto. So we control eight provinces, and then we can dissolve the shogunate. Then we can do wars with the individual states individually rather than having to go to war with Japan itself. So we'll eventually probably have to do that because I don't think they're going to personal union their way down to like, you know, two guys. It's probably going to be, you know, five or six like this forever. Anyway, let's uh, get you out to safety. You can also go to safety. You can go to safety. We have a lot of safe territory now. That's nice. Go to Hizen. You guys... Uh, Shit, I don't care. Go over there. You guys go to Setsu. We'll just keep some armies over there. Why not? Keep you there. We're building a new army here. So these guys are going to control or patrol this area. Ah, we're missing our army here. Can we handle a bigger army now? Yes, we can. Uh, we're still making money? Yeah, we're making bank. All right, let's build a new army over here because I don't want to bring anyone back from Japan. We'll eventually bring some back because we won't need them over there forever. But while we're at war, we'll leave them over there. Or while we are while we are interested in continuing the wars with Japan, which of course we are, uh, we'll just leave some armies over there. That way we don't have to keep ferrying back and forth. You guys go back up there. You guys need to heal up badly. Go, uh, let's go over here. Whatever. And our transport navy is building. We have a new transport navy building. They're actually building very slowly. Yeah, 224 days to build each ship. But they are much better than the previous ships, so it's worth it, I guess. Uh, and we'll eventually be able to tech forward. Two more years until we can tech forward. Ooh, that'll be nice. That'll be really nice. Alright, well, I uh, have to stop the video here, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode today. War with Japan is always fun. Sometimes it's really, really gruesome, because their units are... Their units are good, their morale is good, they have good generals, they're just, everything about them is good. Uh, and I'm sure they have uh, ideas that make them stronger on the battlefield, well, a little bit. They don't have uh, a military drill like we have. But beyond that, they're pretty good. So, this war was fine, we never really lost any manpower. At all. Uh, yeah, turned out pretty well. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode today. This is Shen from Shen Play signing off. You guys have a good day. Adios, goodbye.